But we have to start with the basics, Genoise sponge. And a Genoise is the classic sponge cake, and it's a good way to get a handle on what a sponge cake is. I've got eight eggs that are warming in water. You actually want to make your sponge cake with warmed eggs. The easiest way to warm them up is just to cover the whole eggs in their shell with hot tap water, let them sit for about five minutes, and that warms up the entire egg. I'll separate the last two eggs because all I need are the yolks. I'll get this set on the mixer. In addition to the eggs, I'm adding a cup of sugar. I'll whip this on high speed for about five minutes. And it's important not to short change on the time for this because the longer the eggs whip with the sugar, the better the volume you get, but also the finer the bubbles. And it's those fine bubbles that lend the sponge cake its perfect texture. There we go. So now I'm ready for the dry ingredients, one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And you wanna sift the flour to lighten it up. I'll add a pinch of salt and then to add a little character to the sponge cake, a tablespoon of matcha green tea powder. This is green tea that's been dried and ground. I'll just sift this. On low speed, I can gradually add the flour and let the whip attachment of the mixer work in the flour evenly and with no lumps. I have a quarter cup of butter that I've melted and I'm gonna pour this into a bowl. I'm going to incorporate a bit of the batter into the butter and then add that mixture by hand. But I also want to work in a little flavor, a teaspoon of vanilla. You just need to add about a cup of the batter into the butter, give it a quick stir, and now the butter folds easily into the batter without sinking to the bottom. You can really feel as you're folding in that buttered batter, the airiness, such a light texture. Now I have a sheet pan and a nine inch springform pan. What's important is it's not a greased pan. That way the cake batter can climb up the sides as it bakes. I've lined the bottom with parchment paper. In goes the batter. The sponge cake is ready for the oven. I've preheated it to 350 and it takes 40 to 45 minutes. And checking the doneness, like all sponge cakes, I touch the top when it springs back, I know the cake is done. I have one that I've already baked off and you let it cool completely in the pan. So what I do is I run a palette knife and when I'm using a springform pan, I start at the seam, run all the way around and latch the cake. I'll peel off the parchment, put it on my cake stand and I find a dusting of icing sugar is always ideal. This green tea sponge cake does pair well with fruits. A fresh mango and coconut salad is the perfect side to dress this cake up. You combine two peeled and diced sweet mangoes with half a cup of freshly grated coconut and some lime zest and juice. Let's cut into a slice. Look at that gorgeous color. What a light and refreshing way to end a meal. And you've also taken a class in Sponge Cake 101.